Hello, I'm Paul Pluter and welcome to Paul Pluter Prestige. Today I'd like to talk about the Patek Philippe 5009 and uh, this, this is a piece which uh, doesn't get much uh, coverage in the Patek forums or around the internet but it's a piece that I remember seeing about eight or nine years ago and it's a piece that I instantly fell in love with. The Patek 5009 it's very much a, uh, a piece, it's basically it's a rectangular type of um, gondola, gondola type watch and uh, it, it, it's just a very very classic Patek, it uses the 215 Patek manual wine movement which is their bread and butter manual wine movement it's got the most beautiful art deco numerals, the case is uh, just gorgeous in yellow gold and uh, this model here has been replaced by a, uh, a much larger uh, type of case and uh, I gotta say the 5009 it's actually a personal favorite of mine and uh, it just shows you how wonderful the uh, the pieces in the Batek range are if a piece like a 5009 can just disappear off the scene and um, it's it, it's something I really really do love I think it, it holds all the virtues of a Patek Philippe it's a precious metal it's uh, it's timeless it's classic it's uh, beautifully constructed it's just a wonderful endorsement for Patek Philippe and uh, many people when you when you say Patek Philippe they automatically think of the the circular Calatrava type pieces but uh, this piece here the 5009 is an all-time favorite of mine and uh, I'd really love to uh, obtain one down the track and I, and I, I think they're, they're, they're a gorgeous gorgeous piece I, uh, I, I suppose in some ways here this 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 piece here is a little bit um, it, it's not the it hasn't got the essence of the the latest Patex it's got a, uh, a brush gold back instead of the see-through which uh, the 215 is certainly a beautiful movement it's it's also it's it, it, it's I think it's it's just a, a perfect Patek but um, it, you know it's, it's one of these things the beautiful thing about Patek Philippe is that they have so many wonderful handcrafted pieces in a precious metal and uh, I, I think if you want a beautiful dress watch just something which is discreet classy and beautiful you can do no wrong with the Patek 5009 and um, these these pieces here I think also in rose gold would be stunning uh, the yellow gold is is I think it's really made for yellow gold and I I've only um, I've only handled one piece and that was in yellow gold and it's just I think it's just classic Patek Philippe at its best and um, I'd certainly like to uh, as I've said many times I'd like to add one to my collection but um, it's it's just it's just gorgeous just absolutely gorgeous the 215 movement as I've said is is the bread and butter movement in the Patek range and I think to many collectors they actually prefer manual wind over automatic and uh, you know it, it, that's that's something that this piece has I I also do love the the way the dials put together it reminds me very much of the Rolex Prince which was the the 1920s 30s uh, doctor's watch but um, I, I I think the the 5009 whether it's your only Patek or whether it's one Patek amongst a few I think it's a great piece to have in your range it's certainly a dress watch and um, with a beautiful leather crocodile strap in black I think it would uh, go perfectly to most functions with a tuxedo or a smart suit and uh, I c coming into the scoring now what does um, what's the Paul Puta rating for this watch here well look Brand Patek Philippe, I've given it a 10. You really can't get better than, than Patek. The Stardust in the range, it's probably a little bit overshadowed by the Calatrava and some of the, the more complicated pieces, but I'm giving it an 8 out of 10.
The movement itself, I'm giving it a 9. The 215 is a gorgeous movement. The overall quality, I'm going to have to give it a 10. The Paul Pluter Prestige Rating, and uh, I'm going to have to give it another 10. So we tally that all up, and we come to a score of 47.